Alrighty, hello here. In this video will show how to replace the hard drive of the PlayStation 4 so you can put in a bigger one. Now I got my PlayStation 4 at launch date. So it means I have a 500 terabyte. However, the operating system takes up almost 100. Uh, did I say 500 terabyte? I meant 500 gigabytes, sorry. But the operating system takes up about um, 95 gigabyte. So, and I have 393 gigabyte of applications. So that's only about 11 uh, gigabyte free. Um, so 500 gigabyte does not go a long way. Actually, since I've been a member of the PlayStation Plus network since the beginning, I had to uh, pretty much uninstall, delete every single game I downloaded from the PlayStation Plus network. So I have about 60 games. So I'll see all those with the down arrow in the lower right corner. I had to uninstall and delete those to have room for a few of my games. Um, and the PlayStation 4 games, they take up a lot of space. Let me show you here. Battlefield 4. 35 gigabyte. Battlefield Hardline. 46 gigabyte. Four do the ghost. Now with all the map packs though. 57 gigabyte almost. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. All the map packs. Almost 64 gigabyte. So I only have less than 10 games installed actually. The rest I had to uninstall. So enough of that. I bought a 2 terabyte hard drive the other day. It arrived yesterday. I bought a new age, 90 bucks uh, after $10 rebate and including shipping. So we'll go to settings. We need to back up our data. System. Back up and reinstall. Back up PS4. Trophies will not back up. It's recommended to sync it. Yeah, yeah, I already did that. Okay, now syncing for a second. I already put a. I formatted a 32 gigabyte memory stick and put it in my PlayStation 4. So you have to format it. Um, that 32. Um, uh, it was NTFS, so I had to reformat mine. Okay, I have to uncheck applications because, of course, a 32 gigabyte memory stick will not hold 395 gigabyte of data. Okay. Now we can click next. It says it will restart. So now we'll click back up here. So it's preparing, and then it will actually reboot. And come back in a moment. All right, so it's gonna start backing up now. In the beginning, this process might seem to go a little slow. And the time left in minutes will be a little high in the beginning, but it should go down dramatically in a moment or two. And it looks like mine, it's gonna take about a little more than 10 minutes or so. We'll see. Anyways, I'm not going to bore you with a video of uh, the entire backup process, so I am going to pause the video now and resume again uh, after it is backed up and when I'm ready to take out my old hard drive and reinstall it. All right, room. after the backup to the USB memory stick, the PS4 had to be rebooted. Then I shut it completely down and disconnected all the cables and have put it here on my kitchen table. So you should be able to slide this panel off here. 
Okay. That's what the... There we go. And here we find the hard drive. Alrighty. First time I've done this, so it's not easy, it's going to be. Hold on. <coughs> sit down on my chair. Okay, so it only requires that one screw. Well, now it's of course easy. Now we need to unscrew the frame, little bracket holding the two and a half inch hot drive. Slide that out, get the new one, slide that in, catch the screws. So, um, unless you have like 10 butterfingers like me, this should actually only take 5 minutes. All this. Off of the panels, no screws. On, loosen one screw, take off one screw, and then the four screws to the bracket. Okay, now we'll insert that back in. Reattach the single screw here. Okay. Let's see if we can get this plastic panel back on here. Okay. Now we will plug the PS4 back up and restore the Alright, I have moved back my PlayStation 4 in my media console and connected all the cables. I have then inserted a memory stick containing a already pre-downloaded system update um, and make sure that that USB memory stick has a folder named PS4 and within there another folder called update or capital letters and that's where the update file should be now it says on the screen connect um oh yep <coughs> excuse me i um started the playstation 4 in safe mode the way to do that is press the power button for second seven seconds and the power button is of course the top one press and hold 
And even though you can hear it start spinning, as soon as you start pressing, keep pressing until you hear one beat after uh, seven seconds. And then it should start in safe mode. Now we're connected to a DualShock 4 controller using the cable, and I'm going to press the PS button. Now we are going to go down to initialize PS4. Connect the storage device, which we're going to do. Okay, now it's going to search the storage device. This might take a minute or two, depending on the size of the hard drive. Should you get an error here at this point, maybe you want to try a different USB memory stick or um, and or re-download the PS um, update file from PlayStation.com. Don't download it from anywhere else. And make sure, like I said, you have a folder called PS4 and another folder in there called Update, um, all capital letters. So we're waiting. I'm glad it's not asking me to hold my breath. Because I might die if it's going to take too long. It would be nice if it would say how long to wait. Maybe that will be the PS5. Okay, anytime. I'm ready. Are we there yet? I have to go to the bathroom. Are we there yet? All right, we're going to take a nap. Ah, there we go. It will be initialized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All users, data will be deleted. Well, then there's nothing on it, so we definitely don't care about that. But we're going to continue here. All right, so now it's initializing. Uh, surprisingly, going pretty fast, even though it's a two terabyte hard drive. I don't know if it's some kind of quick format it did earlier. That was the part where it said, please wait. Now it's just copying the data over, maybe. Not sure exactly. Ah, now it's updated. Again, that's surprisingly going pretty fast. Okay. Now it seems it's going to restart. There we go. There we go, it just finished restarting. Now it's actually installing the update file, so earlier I guess it was copying it over to the hard drive. Do not turn off the PS4 during installation. <sighs> Why not? Please, can I not turn it off? I'm going to consume power. Save power.
halfway done, installing the update file. Probably disconnect the control now. The cable, let's we'll see. Hopefully, it won't interrupt anything. All right, so it's restarting. Okay, I have successfully uh, initialized the new hard drive and set up the PlayStation with myself as the first user. I will now go into settings and verify that we now have a large chunk capacity hard drive, system storage management. 1.77 terabytes. Yeah, it's a complete lie when they say a hard drive is 2 terabytes. I don't understand why they are allowed to do that. There should be a class action lawsuit. Anyways, uh, now let's see if we can actually restore my saved data. Go to System and Settings, Backup and Restore, Restore PS4, select the backup data. Hopefully you can read this. I'm saying hopefully. Because um, that memory stick containing the backup data. I actually tried to put in the system uh, software download from the PlayStation network, and it would not. When I tried to initialize um, from safe mode, it simply would not um, read the up system software. Uh, from that memory stick. So I had to cho choose another memory stick, and that worked. Now we'll see if it, all, it can read the backup data.